Hey, Timothy, thanks a lot for coming. Uh, thank Appreciate you very much it. for having me. And by the way, right off the bat, I want to tell you, I'm a big fan of the show. Oh, um, thank you. I was in uh, Budapest, Hungary, actually outside. But anyway, you're on all the time. Well, we get shown on NBC uh, Europe now, which shows it uh, all over the place. I mean, it's like all over Europe. But my dad was in Russia once, and uh, he said he saw it there. They yeah. showed it where? Outside Budapest? Yeah, we were like in this, like, we were in this place called Balaton Fired. This is awful awful lovely place and mm -hmm. um <laughs> yeah you're gonna get letters now that we're there that's how right. dare you say that we were staying at the uh the hotel fured uh -huh. which um it might as well just be called the uh get my agent on the phone because this is bull <laughs> hotel <laughs> but uh <laughs> maybe we're on uh, a lovely movie we're, we're on in cable probably over there right <laughs> oh <laughs> I haven't seen you in this country. Yeah. They don't believe anything out there. We're on the network. You're fantastic. I'm sorry, I won't. Clean up your language, again. kid, or I'll slap you around. She was... The, um, uh, you know but what's... anyway, it was really, it was just great. It was, you, you, because well, wait, the were place you watch, was... Were you watching it just because it was the only thing that was in English? Well, here's the problem with some of these places, <laughs> yeah. is that, like, uh, you're completely surrounded by foreigners. And nobody really that's speaks a problem language. In, that's a big problem in foreign countries, yeah. It's, it, it just, uh... So, yeah, it was very nice to come home and have, uh, you know. I like when people come. I've had this happen to me many times. People have said to me, like, on the street or something, they say, yeah, I was just in, in Europe, and, you know, every, no one spoke English, and I had to watch your show. And you're like, thanks. It's nobody. <laughs> I'll tell you what they you. do do, though. Like, I swear to God, you, the moment I got off the plane, I'm greeted by this big Hungarian guy, and he doesn't speak a lick of English. You, and you're all groggy because of time change. Because, like... Sure, time change. You're all... <laughs> well, like, here it's like, say, like, this air is somewhere around about 1.30 now, or right. somewhere close to that, and, like, there it would be, like, 1974. <laughs> they actually go back in time there to show but, our program. Um, the, the, uh, the guy, like, you get off, and the guy doesn't speak any English, and he's, and he's just like, uh, no, no, you know, no English, no English. Every now and then he says, November, you know, cause, uh, and I don't know why, because it's, like, November. That and was then, the one word he knew? November. So he just said it over no, and over again? It's just November all, all day. And then, and then he would get Was it car. even November when you were there? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I really, that's sad. And then he gets in the car, and I swear to God, he puts on the tape. He's a big Hungarian guy driving a Mercedes like 120 kilometers an hour. Mm -hmm. He knew every single lyric to every single song of Wham's first album. I'm not kidding you. I mean, he that's... knew the careless whisper. He knew the wake me up before you go go. Now uh, anyway. you're you're the you're kind of a new face. That's what they're saying. He's the new face in Scream 2. Now how does that feel? I mean, is that, that just intimidating? Means I'm the only face that nobody knows. That's how they just say that. But it's, like, it's a big hit movie. It's good for you to be in there. No, it's not a bad thing. It's not. That doesn't make the holidays like uh, they haven't been bad. Right. I mean, it's not. You know. But people... All I want for Christmas is a $100 million movie. Mm -hmm. And you get what, like 20% of that, 25%? It's actually much less than you think. It's like closer to... And Jerry O'Connell was on here. I think we said 10. I assume that's what I got. <laughs> you're being paid like $200 for this movie. <laughs> was it... Was it... Uh, but you're the... What is it like? You're, you're the... I mean, everyone else, or a lot... Not everyone else, but a lot of the other people in the movie are established in some way. You're the new guy. Is I was, it... it was like, honestly, the first day you show up, Everybody there you recognize. It's like the who's who of actors, and then who? And that's me. I'm the who. <laughs> <laughs> you've, got, well, you've got a good attitude about it. You know, it's just not uh, such a bad thing being in show business, you know? Really? That's what you found? Has it been hard on you? <laughs> oh, yeah, we have a hell of a time. No, this isn't really show business. Um, what is it we do here, Andy, anyway? Uh, helpful hints. <laughs> That's kind of the extent of this show now. Right, yeah. Well, Scream 2, like I have to mention it, it's in theaters now. It's made, I looked it up this morning, it's made over $900 gillion. That's right. And costs just a fraction of that. Yeah, which is exciting. So, Timothy Oliphant, best of luck with Thank you. Continue success. Much. Come on back really when you have your next it. film. We'll Thank take you. a break, folks. We'll be right back.